Yes. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hi, my name is Aura. Um, and it's amazing because I've just finished the School of Identity course. I can't call it course, maybe we'll call it school. Um, but it's been amazing. It's been it's been amazing on the last day. Um, and I've loved every part of it. Um, coming why did on, you come? Yeah, why did, why you did come? I come? I came because Oliver told me about it so many times. And also I've been out with Rory and the team a few times. But I know it's something very much different. Um, and I think for me, I know that the spirit of God is inside of me. God, but God, why are we not walking in the full manifestation of everything you say that we are? And coming on the course has really just shown us it's all about our identity and like who we are. Like I generally thought the first three days would be like, okay, how do you heal the sick? Raise the dead, and all of that. But it was actually the core teachings about who are you, like you knowing who you are. And in that, just knowing it's given us so much liberty. Like we can actually walk in a fullness because of knowing who we are and so it's been such a great course to come on um i would encourage anyone to if you're questioning in yourself should i should i not it's worth it um come you can ask as many questions as you want to you can be as skeptical <laughs> as you want to it's fine but i would say just allow yourself to receive first just allow yourself to listen and in you knowing who you are you will see you so will see Aura, the beauty does this help you to walk out joy oh yeah and what I'm were you just saying I'm, not, I'm normally a joyful person guys yeah, but normally. like there's so much like i feel sincerely from the teachings i feel even from the first day i noticed myself walking in so much freedom from fear the little things that i was like had this skeptical things about and like just knowing who i am this I, i'm literally just walking like i don't really care about anything like not in that way but like because i know just because i know the truth but yeah so it's it's been a joy it's been a joy it's definitely enabled me to overflow in joy so could you say that before yeah. you came on school you knew you were free but now that you've been on school you know you're free indeed <laughs> yeah. we, could, we could put it that way i am free indeed yeah, yeah no sincerely 100 100 and, and what was the last thing you were saying about um what would you say someone considering coming well, I would say, I would say definitely do it. And I'm not just saying it for the sake of saying it. I'm being sincerely serious. Um, come on the course, like be open-minded. That's one of the first things I'll say, be open-minded because some things may clash with what you've always known and that's okay. But you have the opportunity to ask so many questions. But if you just allow yourself to listen, you may only take 40% of it in to start with, but you will observe that once you're receiving the truth, like it will all make sense and putting it into practice daily, my gosh, you, okay. you'd be amazed. And here's another question. Did yes, you sir. pay to come on this school? Was it value for money? Be totally honest. Yeah, I was about to do 100 percent my hand and I didn't know how to do that. I was like, okay. But no, 100 100 100 percent Like it's it's crazy because it's like just as you said, being free and free indeed. Yeah. For me, worth it. Because me, I was like, God, I'm not gonna pay for this. But sincerely, so worth it. If you're someone who has who's who's like fear, fearful at times, anxiety at times, not even major, even just little aspects of your life or things you question like, okay, God, you know God is inside of you, but why are you not healing people? Why are you not praying? Why don't you have confidence in certain things? Trust me, knowing who you are will will help you. Okay, will really and I help promise you. you this is the final question. Okay. Now, as you've gone out, you know, shopping and chatting to people, yeah. what how has your mindset been different? How's it been different to previous let's say ministry experience um i think one of the things it's taught me is highlighting the fact that you you don't have to go out to evangelize like it's not oh i'm going out to evangelize but it's the fact that okay i'm going about my day today in everything that i'm doing and i can love on people and that's and i think also having that mindset is like i'm loving on people so i'm giving you i'm bringing what christ wants to encounter to you which is love which is joy which is peace he doesn't want you to be in pain all day so okay cool let's pray for you like do you have any pain in your body um and i think just walking that out in terms of doing life with people and in the midst of doing life with people um showing the and showing the showing the realness of god showing the love of god showing the person of god through you people actually encountering god through you through your laughter through your joy and then you don't know where the conversation leads to you start talking about god amazing amazing and finally guys if you're in spitfield market make sure you check out <laughs> chai guys Chai guys is the best chai I've ever had. Okay, Ori, <laughs> thank you very much. Most You're welcome. amazing. Looking thank forward you to the next season. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>